Welcome inside the Globe TV studios. And welcome to our final episode of Change Up Chatter. I'm sad that we're finally done, but it has been a lot of fun. It has been a ton of fun, but guess what? We finally have the World Series champion. That's right, and it only took the Texas Rangers five games to defeat the Arizona Diamondbacks. And you know, I was really rooting for the Diamondbacks to win, but those Rangers bats were just unstoppable. Oh, absolutely. Corey Seager and Marcus Simeon had a combined 14 RBIs, which is the most by an infield duo in a World Series in five or fewer games. There are many more highlights and fun facts to go over. So, Lily, how about you start us off? Actually, before we get into that, I want to take a quick break because today we have an interview. Who's our special guest? None other than the Globe's very own Alyssa McDonald is coming in to talk about the World Series because I know she was rooting for the Diamondbacks. Well, I can't wait to hear what she has to say. When we come back, I'm going to sit down with Aliska and ask her about the Diamondbacks and Rangers series. Welcome back to Change Up Chatter. And I know this isn't the typical setup. We're switching things up a little bit, and we're going to have a live guest interview in the studio with us today. You may know her from a few of our Globe Sports Corners or our Globe News Report. It is Miss Alyssa McDonald, avid MLB and baseball fan. Alyssa, how are you doing today? And uh, as always, thank you for being in the studio. Yeah, thanks for having me. You know, it's kind of weird being on this side of the camera for once. Not doing for the once. interview for once. No, but no, I'm doing really good today. Uh, happy, happy to be here. Thanks for asking me to come on. Absolutely. Let's get right down to business. You made the bold prediction in one of our earlier episodes that the Diamondbacks were going to be the ones to come out on top and bring home a World Series. Now, they didn't live up to that hype, but how do you feel about them at least making it to the World Series and pulling a big upset on Philly? I feel really good. You know, a lot of people laugh when I said that I was rooting for the Diamondbacks, but, I mean, I'm a Cardinals fan. you got to support, you know, NL sports, NL. But I was just really rooting for the underdogs. Everyone was saying, like, there's no way they're going to make it. Um, it's bad for baseball if they make it. And, honestly, it's like bring the chaos, their, like, motto. I was so happy when they beat the Phillies and I was just amazed that they were able to you know have this team that a lot of people were thinking like oh you know they're not going to make it and then get hot at the right time and beat all the odds and make it so I think it was really good for World Series and I think it was really good for baseball as a whole. It's always good to see teams get into the World Series in the postseason that you don't typically see and I think bring the chaos by far has been one of my favorite World Series slogans. How would you feel about their overall performance in the World Series? Obviously, they came up well short of where they needed to be to bring home a ring. But the performance overall, they still had a lot of clutch guys coming in in big spots. Yeah, I felt really good, you know, just watching uh, Cattell Marte had a lot of really good games. Um, Corbin Carroll, their offense really did carry. I feel like their pitching is sort of where they kind of fell off. You saw it in a number of games. They just weren't able to, you know, get the three outs, switch to the next guy. Uh, giving up really, you know, really horrible hits to the Rangers if you are rooting for the Diamondbacks. But, I mean, their offense was hot, which, which was really what carried them into the postseason. And then when you go up against, you know, the Rangers, whose bullpen is better, whose bats are better than yours, you really have to rely on your pitching. And, unfortunately, you know, they just couldn't compete with them. And although they didn't win, obviously the MVP typically goes to the team that, or a player from the team that did win the World Series. But although they didn't win, if you had to pick an MVP or a runner-up MVP, I guess you could say, for the Diamondbacks, who are you going to go with? There's a pretty good list of names you could roll with. You got Evan Longoria at third base, Cattell Marte, Corbin Carroll. Who are you running with? I've got to run with Cattell Marte. I mean, I think his hitting in so many clutch situations, you know, 11 RBIs this whole postseason. He had a 20-game postseason hitting streak, which almost tied the record. I think the record is 21. Um, so I think he just had a really good showing, both offensively and defensively. And I would have to give him my, my, MLB, my MVP vote if I had one. And I'm going to wrap it up with this. Typically, you see this in college football or college basketball, the way-too-early preseason rankings. Where do you see the Diamondbacks fitting in this time next year when we talk about the postseason? You know, honestly, I think a lot of people hopped on the Diamondbacks hype train, you know, as people do when teams like the Diamondbacks make it to the postseason. You get everyone, you know, buying jerseys and everything. And I think that's going to be really good for the Diamondbacks. I think they're going to come in with a lot more money and a lot more hype and, you know, credibility to their name than they would have otherwise. I think that they will make it back to the postseason again next season. Do I think they're going to win? No, because hopefully the Cardinals are in the postseason and they can make a run. But I do think that they will make uh, the playoffs next year. Well, you guys heard it here first. They almost did it this year. She almost predicted the World <laughs> Series right. We'll have to come back next year and do this again. 
on Change of Chatter. Alyssa, thank you as always for being in the studio today. It's great to have you. Yeah. Great to have a little bit of a switch up too for the yeah, show. Yeah, thank you so much for, for letting me join on the show. Absolutely. When we return, Lily and I will share our favorite highlights and facts. This is Change Up Chatter. Lily, that interview was awesome. I had a ton of fun doing it, and it was great to have Alyssa and just a special guest in general in the studio to kind of change things up for the last episode. I definitely agree, and I feel like she had some amazing answers about the Diamondbacks. And now, Colin, before we wrap things up, please tell me and our audience what your favorite fact about the World Series is. I think my favorite fun fact has to be that Rangers pitcher Nathan Eovaldi is only the fourth pitcher in MLB history with five wins in a single postseason. And he's joining some pretty legendary names, too. Randy Johnson, Francisco Rodriguez, Steven Strasburg. And, I mean, come on. Eovaldi's a former Red Sox. That's my team. So how can I not mention him? I could not agree more. And I would have to say my favorite is the three-peat for Will Smith. He is the first player in the NFL, MLB, NBA, and NHL in history to appear in at least one game, regular or postseason, with three different championship winning teams in three consecutive seasons. I mean, who knows, maybe the next team he appears on will be the World Series winners of 2024. Thank you all so much for joining us on this World Series journey. It has been a lot of fun. It has been a ton of fun, but it's time to come to a close. One last time, I'm Colin Eccles. And I'm Liliana Herrera. And for everyone in the studios who have helped us make this happen, Dante Stan and Annalisa McDonald. This is Change Up Chatter. <laughs>